Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the latest TCS Ninja interview experience. This interview happened today only, that is on 15th September 2022, and this interview experience is of a 2023 batch student. Guys, today in the morning only, I have uploaded the today's TCS data interview experience. If you have not watched that video till now, please watch it. That has been uploaded on my channel. You can see here. Okay, and guys, previously also I have made lot of videos on TCS Ninja interview experiences. Here you can see in this playlist, 23 videos are present for the TCS Ninja interview experience as well as I have made videos for the TCS data interview experience. Total 11 videos you can see here are present for the TCS data interview experience. So if you are preparing and if you have got the mail for your interview and you wish to prepare for your interviews, you can simply visit this playlist. All the playlists I will give in the description box. Make sure to visit it and see these videos so that you can get a fair amount of idea that what type of questions are asked in the interviews. And guys. After uh, after preparing also, if you're not feeling confident about that, uh, how I am going to face the interviewer that I, I do not make any mistakes in the interview. So do not worry. We have started taking the mock interviews. We are taking the mock interviews for TC Detail as well as TCS Ninja. Okay. You can book your slot. The links are in the description box, but make sure to book your slot as soon as possible because slots are very limited and they are filling very fast and you are also getting 20% discount on all the prices of this mock interview. Okay, the links are in the description box. So as now let's start this video and before starting the video, please hit the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel. Okay, so guys, the date of the interview is 15th September 2022. The branch of my friend was CSC. The duration of the entire interview was 20 minutes. Since it was a ninja interview, so 20 minutes duration was only there for the interview. Okay, so first question as you all know is tell me about something about yourself. So guys, when the interview is short, like for 15 to 20 minutes, then this is the best chance. This federal question as well as the project related questions are the best chance to get selected because by those things only the interviewer knows that what you have achieved, what are your skills, what you have done with those skills and what are the different type of interests you have. So kindly take this question very seriously and prepare yourself for this question. You can include your skills, your extracurricular activities, your internships, your projects, all or any achievement that you have you have you achieved all those things you can include in tell me about yourself because this is a very important question and it will give a fair amount of idea to the interviewer that what the candidate is learning okay so i hope now this question is clear to you next question is what are the different access specifiers access modifiers so guys again there are different type of access modifiers there is public protected private and default so if you are given the uh, if you prefer java language then there are uh, four uh, access uh, access specifiers and if you are preferring the c++ then there are only three access modifiers if you want to learn in detail i have made a dedicated video on my channel in which i have discussed these access access specifiers in detail with example of code so i hope now this question is also clear to you next question is explain system.out.println so guys, but why we use system.out.println to print the values on the console. So while we are debugging the code or while we want to print anything on the console. So what we use, we use simple system.out.println. So this is used to print the values to the console. In C++ we use cout. In Java we use system.out.println. Okay, I hope this question is clear to you. Next question is explain public static void main. Okay, so you will have to explain to the interviewer uh, word by word that is what does public stand for what does static stands for okay like this you will have to explain to the interviewer so here public is an access specifier it means that open to the world that is this particular method can be used anywhere in the program because it is public next is static static is a keyword it means that the this particular function does not require an, require an object for getting called because static functions can get called by with the help of class name only okay i hope this thing is clear to you that is using the static keyword we can call the function by the name of the class only. Next thing is void. Void is a return type. That is, this particular function does not return anything. It returns nothing. So therefore, its return type is void. Now, main is the first method when your program runs. Then the main method is the first method that will be called. Okay. Next is string argument. So these are certain arguments. Uh, uh, these are arguments that are given to the main method. Okay. I hope now the entire definition of public static void main is clear to you. Okay, I hope this question is also clear to you. Now guys, I would like to remind you again that we have started taking the mock interviews of TCS. We are taking TCS Ninja mock interview as well as we are taking TCS Digital mock interview. So slots are very limited. So kindly make sure to book your slot as soon as possible. The links are in the description box. 
सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर मॉक इंटरव्यू वी विल टेल यू अबाउट योर प्लस पॉइंट्स योर नेगेटिव पॉइंट्स योर रिज्यूम में वी विल टेल हाउ यू कैन इंप्रूव इन दी मेन इंटरव्यू सो ऑल दीज थिंग्स वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग इन दिस मॉक इंटरव्यू सो काइंडली बुक योर स्लॉट एज सुन एज पॉसिबल ओके नाउ टू दी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज एनी सर्टिफिकेशन हैव यू डन सो येस माई फ्रेंड हैड डिड सर्टिफिकेशन फॉर मशीन लर्निंग सो ही टोल्ड दैट येस I have done certification for the machine learning part. So again, if you have done any certifications, you can tell them. If you have done any courses, also you can tell them. And again, if you have done any internship, then also you can in- tell them regarding those things. Okay. I hope now this question is also clear to you. Next thing is any extra curricular activities that you have done in your college. So you might be uh, might be a member of a drama club or might be a, a member in the t- sports uh, sports team. So anything that you have done. Uh, except for studies you can tell to the interviewer that yes i have spent time in these things okay i hope now this question is also clear to you next is which your which is your favorite game so guys again these type of questions are very general question this is this depends on the interviewer that how the interviewer wants to proceed with the interview he wants to ask only technical questions managerial question or he can be a bit friendly also and he can ask you some lightweight questions like this that what is your favorite game to lighten your mood because we all know that while a candidate is giving interview he is very much nervous okay so these type of questions can also be asked from you in the interview to lighten your mood next question is why do you want to join tcs so guys again it is a very important question as per the interview is concerned that is we are giving the interview of tcs why you want to join tcs now what does what is there in tcs that is not other not in other companies so again be precise in your answer you can tell that tcs is number 1 india's number 1 company it works on latest technologies you wish to you wish to grow with them there is good work life balance so all these things you can include in this particular answer and yes interview will be happy with you okay i hope now this question is also clear to you next question was very interesting like that is who is the ceo of tcs so guys in companies generally these type of questions are not asked okay so just again depends on the interview that what type of questions he asked so you can simply tell see your any company if you are giving the interview you must have the basic knowledge about that company about the ceo of that company about the recent news about those companies what projects they are working on on what things they have uh, they have invested and what are their future plans so these basic basic things about the company you must know before the interview so again it is a very simple question if you know the answer then you can tell if you do not know then again it will be a certain bad point but try to learn these type of questions for every company if you are giving any interviews okay so guys next question was where do you want to see yourself in 5 years so simple answer is that what are your long term goals so guys whenever these type of questions are asked to you be your answer should always revolve around the company that what position you want to hold in the company or what are your future plans you must all, always tell to the interviewer that yes you have the long term vision for this company only and you are planning your future around this company only so these type of answers they are very eager eagerly want to listen and they will be happy for happy to listen these answers that yes you are thinking of the long term for this company so prepare your or or your answers in this uh, conditions only that you are looking for the long term uh, Uh, you can say long term partnership with the company or long term uh, stability with the company so all these things you can tell to the interviewer i hope now this question is also clear to you but always keep in mind on all these things always be positive in your answer always give a positive uh, positive vibe from your answer okay so i hope now this question is also clear to you now the last question of this interview was any questions for me that is any questions you have for the interviewer so as kindly ask two to three questions from the interviewer this shows that you are genuinely interested in the company you can ask like what are technologies i will be working on what are the responsibilities i will be given what does the company expects from me so all these questions you can ask from the interviewer and he will be happy to answer them okay so yes, these are all the questions which are asked in these in the interview from my friend so again it was a re- relatively easy interview to have for tcs ninja again but you are, you must prepare for the worst <laughs> like you must prepare all the uh important type subjects like i have mentioned in the video also that how you have to prepare for the interviews like i have um, uh, shared the pdf resource in which i have discussed the important subjects as well as the questions most important questions from that subject so kindly watch that video if you have not watched that till now and again if you are not confident in your interviews kindly book the mock interview slot with us we will tell you that 
where you were right where you will you were wrong and kindly do not make any mistakes in the main interviews okay so guys thank you for watching this video and kindly hit that subscribe button and the like button for this video